Hello Virgo, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your Ooh, okay, somebody is gonna get right from getting wrong. Okay, so I feel like it might be some kind of legal situation, but I feel like this is definitely what it is. You're seeing a uh, general reading. Sometimes it's gonna go good and sometimes it's gonna go bad, but I feel like um that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, all right, but it only came out with one card, so so basically it can go either way. I guess that's what it wanted to say to you. But it's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of 12-15-2017. The cards I am using today are um, The Wild Unknown Tarot by Ken Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up other than that. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo weekend reading for the weekend of 12-15-2017. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. 12-15-2017. Virgo, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right, one more. So, I'm already feeling people from the past or situation from the past are definitely coming back. But I want to say to haunt you, okay? Two, three, one, two, three. I don't know what's wrong. But, okay, so, seems like whatever this thing come to the past, maybe is related to this. Maybe not, but it seems like somebody has been hoping for this. All right. All right. So, it seems like somebody had been hoping for stuff to calm down in a situation. All right. All right. So, somebody was hoping for um, something to calm down so they can find some kind of balance. But let's see. What is this? Mm. All right. So, so... We're dealing with a, basically, somebody, maybe you could be somebody you're dealing with, just very artistic, but they're in uh, introvert, and they're into themselves thinking, like, what did they do wrong in this situation? Okay. Or what is they part? What are they part in the situation? You know, this could be you just thinking about everything that you did to cause whatever happened to happen. All right, what is this star card about for the Virgo? All right, so it seems like somebody was hoping that somebody left. Uh, I feel like for a small few of you, it may have been rehab. Somebody left, probably left for rehab. All right, what is this? Six of... All right, so it seems like whatever this person went to go to, they were working real hard for it to happen. Or for just some kind of calmness, some kind of calm down. Now I got to, what is this Eight of Pentacles about for the Virgo? Okay, so it seems like um, somebody dropped the situation and left. And it, they left the situation in hopes, I um, feel like in hopes that it get better. So it seems like. Uh, while the situation was gone or over, um, somebody was working real hard to try to keep something from ending. Okay. And it seems like it might've been some legal matters and I feel like they ended successfully. So I feel like somebody went somewhere to save their job or possibly save their marriage or relationship or both. Okay. All right. So it seems like, um, when somebody left, when the person left the situation, I feel like nobody was feeling like they were loved. Everybody felt like it was a lost cause. And I feel like everybody felt like it was time to go. To go and try something new. Do something new. Okay. Alright, so it seems like... Uh, okay. <sighs> somebody wasn't waiting anymore. Somebody was sick of waiting. Somebody was done waiting for... Um, the calmness, the things to change somebody to work hard on 
on what they were doing. Okay. All right, so somebody feel like they just felt like they didn't want to work hard for this unstable uh, relationship. So I'm feeling like one thing got to go. So I feel like um, either somebody's going to lose their job or their partner. You know, but somebody's not willing. Let's see. What is this hangman reversed about? What is this hangman reversed about? Mm. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to just use it as this. The person that went off to rehab is going to get left because the person that's still at home, they don't feel like that there is any change going on. Or this could be the person that rehab. They didn't, they didn't stay at rehab. They didn't want to wait for the change. They didn't feel like anything would change. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what this justice card about. What is this justice card about for the Virgo? Okay, so it's like balancing this is two of the same cards just an instability in a situation or a home like no kind of balance and this is unhappiness in the home so it seems like somebody was working hard for it somebody went to rehab to change things but i don't feel like they made it oh sorry i feel like the person at home um realized that this person wasn't going to change and I feel like the person at the rehab was like I'm saying rehab but it could be anything they were like uh well I mean I just feel like that I mean I'm a say it like it is they were using excuses to make themselves stay in the circle of addiction that they're in okay so the house ain't going to get better anyway. You know, this person doesn't like me for who I am. You know, all that kind of stuff. All right. What is this? Four staffs reversed about for the Virgo. All right. So it's basically saying that nobody was right in this situation. I feel like uh, uh, both of you might have let each other down by you feeling like this person was going to uh, come out and do the same thing anyway. That made this person have less um, confidence, but it seems like uh, in, in struggling through this um, situation. And this person just, I mean, I feel like this might have been a long-term situation because this person read off you too, like, oh, this person don't believe I can do it anyway. I might as well as not do it. And then it just caused a bunch of unhappiness in the home. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like there's some scary stuff going on, too. Ah, these two together makes me feel like somebody may end up passing away. And then I just saw a big, like, shadow standing right over me. So, um, that you may want to, I don't know, you may want to get back on this person. You know, I know it's hard and I know it's, like, unhappiness in the home. But I feel like if this person come out again they're not going to have the chance to go back in, okay? But it's like both of y'all giving up on each other. You gave up on them, and they can feel it. And, you know, they can feel you gave up on them, and you can feel like they gave up. But it's like if you guys just pe keep being hard on each other, I know it's hard, you know? Like my heart hurt thinking about it, but it's like you really love somebody. You want to be with them, you know? Or you don't even have to be with them. I feel like that part is over, just the caring that, as a person, you know, to help this person get over this addiction, okay? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be heartbreak all over the place, but uh, this person that you're dealing with, or you possibly, are headed toward um, death. So it's like somebody needs to do something to stop this, or, or is, is not much time left. But that's all I have. Um, have a good weekend.